All right, it's time for game number nine of the Indian T20 League. This is going to be a clash of the giants. Steve Smith on one side, KL Rahul on the other. Rajasthan taking on Punjab. This is going to be a fantastic battle to look out for. Teams both in form, both on a high, winning high actually. And it's not going to be any less than an entertainment. So let's quickly tighten our seat belts, And I'm here to give you guys all the stats, all the numbers, all the match previews that you guys need to know before you start watching this game. Most importantly, very interesting player battles to watch out for. Everything in this video. So without much further ado, let's quickly get into it. <music> Speaking of the head-to-head, -head, since 2018, both these sides have met each other four times and three out of those four times have Punjab emerged victorious. So this is an added advantage to Punjab, but both these sides are young sides, great captains, they have fantastic bowling options, so they are complete equals going into this game, so I don't think that'll matter. Moving on and speaking about the venue, this game is going to be played in Sharjah. Obviously, the first game that Rajasthan played here, 216 runs. It was magnificent to watch Sanju Samson play and Steve Smith bat. It was absolutely blistered across uh, all parts of the ground, both these guys did. So it's going to be a high scoring game because obviously Punjab also scored over 200 runs in the last game versus Bangalore. So we can expect many, many runs in this contest. Moving on and speaking about all the important numbers of the day. KL Rahul has been in absolutely brilliant form and not just in this season, he loves playing against Rajasthan. He has 350s to his name against this side. He has an average of around 55. That is magnificent. Another stat, another fact about KL Rahul is he also loves playing against Jofra Archer. KL Rahul has scored 58 runs in three innings that he's faced in just 34 odd balls. So that is another advantage that KL Rahul is coming into this game with despite the century that he scored. So that is about KL Rahul. The other thing that I need to tell you about is Glenn Maxwell, another Punjab boy. Glenn Maxwell loves playing at Sharjah because in 2014, when the Indian T20 league happened there, he scored 89 and 95 brilliant, brilliant runs in the two innings that he played here. So he loves playing at this venue. We can expect something very, very similar again from Maxi because obviously the two games that Punjab have played, he's not had the opportunity to fire. And this is the perfect setting for that to happen. Again, speaking of averages, this man is coming back into the Indian T20 league. He missed out on the first game. I'm talking about Joss Butler for Rajasthan. He was fantastic in the last season. This man loves playing against Punjab like KL Rahul does against Rajasthan. He has 450s to his name and almost an average of 48. So that gives Butler at the top of the order another advantage. So let's quickly move on and let me tell you guys about my predicted 11 because that is what matters today. Let's start with Rajasthan, the side that completely derailed the Chennai team on the other day. So speaking of Rajasthan, we have Yashasvi Jaiswal, the youngster at the top of the order. The only thing that is going to happen, I think, is going to be David Miller, who's not going to play this game and in is going to come Joss Butler. Obviously, David Miller has not been in great of greatest of forms but Butler has been and Butler if he comes to the top of the order we need to know if Steve Smith is going to bat at number three or is he going to push himself lower down the order with the likes of a Jofra Archer and Rahul Tiwatia who's surprisingly fantastic versus Chennai with these bowlers they can be a formidable side to beat their weak link according to me is Jaydev Unatkat who didn't have another great outing again versus Chennai and he's not had one in a long time in this T20 competition. So that is one weak link according to me. But other than that, this team looks absolutely fantastic. Moving on, let's speak about Punjab. And speaking of Punjab, I don't think there's going to be any changes. People might consider bringing in Gale instead of Nicholas Puran as the as at the top of the order. But I don't think Nicholas Puran is yet to go away. That man also needs a couple of more opportunities to perform. And I think he's very capable enough of doing it. And Rahul will trust him to do it. So I think that is the only change that we can probably expect. But I don't predict that to happen. I still feel that Puran is going to continue. Otherwise, their team is rock solid. Their bowling is fantastic. Shami, Cottrell both performing really well. With ball in hand as a spinner, we have Ravi Bishnoi, the youngster, who's also doing really well. Murgan Ashwin is going to be in the side. It's going to be a crackerjack of a contest. You do one thing in the comments. You guys let me know what your predictions are going to be. Tell me what your 11s are going to be. It's going to be fantastic to look at that. Let's quickly move on and let's quickly think and see what Crick Tracker's audience has decided. Let's see who is going to come out of the 
good side of this audience poll. Well, I asked the Crick Tracker audience what they thought, which captain did they think was going to come out victorious and 66% of the people voted for KL Rahul and only 34 voted for Steve Smith. And I am this time going to go with Steve Smith because they looked a very solid setup. They looked really good, Steve Smith and his side looked very calm and composed. And with Butler coming in, I think they are they're going to have the upper hand. Uh, let's see what happens. My yesterday's prediction obviously went wrong. Chennai didn't win the game, Delhi did. But let's see if I can turn the tables around. If my players, if the players of Rajasthan can turn the table around. And this is what my prediction is going to be. Let's quickly have a look at the points table. Delhi, it's sat at the top. Punjab is right behind it. Rajasthan is also there. All these guys with good positive run rates. And uh, obviously, it's very early in the tournament. We still can't come to any sort of conclusion. We still have to look for a few more games to you know, have a sort of an idea of who is going to get into those four spots on the playoffs. Uh, so this is what we have in this video. If you guys did like the video, hit the like button in the comments. Do let me know what your predictions are going to be. And if you guys already haven't done it, then immediately hit that subscribe button, follow Crick Tracker and also the notification bell. Uh, click that also for all notifications to come to you directly. And I will see you guys very, very soon with more such videos.